Hello, Bata. This is Sandy and David Yovichen. We want you to know that we have been fervently praying for your healing, comfort, peace, and for your family. We want to encourage you to keep trusting God as you have been growing in your steadfastness, bearing under the weight of the pain and suffering that you are going through. An encouraging verse to me is Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Remember God's promises that you are not alone. He is with you. He's your refuge. He's your strength. And he will never leave you. He will uphold you. Another good verse I wanted to share is Romans 8.18. It talks about how our present suffering is nothing to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed. Keep your eyes on our hope in Jesus. We love you and are trusting God along with you. I bought that. I want to share a couple of verses here that have meant a lot to me. It's found in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 uh, through 7. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused you to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trial so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold, that perishes through, though it's tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. I love this passage for three different things. It looks back in the past at our salvation that's completed in Christ. And praise God that he did this in your life, Bata. He saved you and you're born again and you have a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. From the dead and then it also talks about the future imminent inheritance and we all desire to be with the lord to the inheritance that is imperishable undefiled and unfading as these verses talk and then it talks about uh today's ongoing purpose you know god is sovereign and everything is according to his plan even though you know this side of eternity uh, things may not make sense but we need to look past the trial and rejoice again that salvation has been provided, and we have the future inheritance with the Lord. And that we need to understand that your faith is the target that the arrows from the enemy are shot at. And so genuine faith is uh, tested, and the result is more precious than any earthly asset as these verses talk. And genuine faith results in praise and glory and honor of Jesus. And that's my prayer for you. And I also wanted to talk to real briefly with uh, Rita. Uh, being a caregiver is not easy, and um, uh, Sandy and I know what it means to be a caregiver for many years. A couple things here can come into play. First is anxiety. One of our favorite verses is Philippians 4, 6. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and minds in Christ Jesus. And then the next verse really talks about what to focus our mind on. Finally, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And number two, I wanted to encourage you as a caregiver to seek encouragement always from God's word. Galatians 6, 9, and 10 says, Let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. So then... As we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. And then sometimes we think about the future and we get worried, and we worry about it. Uh, we, we think about Deuteronomy 31.8, which says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not, be, uh, do not fear or be dismayed. So as a caregiver, remember to take care of yourself. Caregivers, uh, we carry a lot of the burden, sometimes greater than the uh, the recipient. So get support. Keep God's word coming into your heart every day. And so finally, Bata, I want to let you know that uh, C and I, we love you, and we're going to continue to pray for you. And Rita and the family, we love you as well, and we're going to continue to pray for you. May God bless you.
Bye.